Welcome back. I'm Professor Steele, and today we are going to look at a thinking problem using vectors in aviation. Before we start our thinking problem, let's examine a description that might be given in a problem. E 45 degree N. In aviation, we read this as east 45 degrees of north. So everything is measured of a due north or due south. So visualizing this, we are going to have a north compass and then go east of it 45 degrees. So pay attention to how that looks as we come up to our actual thinking problem. As you can see, the thinking problem is traveling from New York, New York to Boston, Massachusetts, where a pilot needs to fly at a heading of east 52.48 north. So let's change this 52.48 degrees of north. The plane is flying the route at a speed of 540 miles per hour. Remember, always write down the information that you've been given. This is the plane's velocity. Now, what we have been asked to do, there's no wind factor here, express the velocity of the plane as a vector in component form. Then we want to rewrite the vector A using unit vectors. So before we start any problem, try and visualize it. Let's draw a diagram. We have east 52.48 degrees of north, roughly there. And here is our plane vector. However, if this is our angle, this is the angle that's been given, we want to know the components of this vector in the horizontal direction and the vertical direction. So a common error is that students will take this angle and throw it in to their r cosine theta, r sine theta, just as we've done in right triangle trigonometry. However, the angle that we actually have in this included right triangle happens to be this particular angle, which is 90 minus 52.48 degrees, which is 37.52 degrees. So we have our horizontal component, which is the magnitude times cosine of the angle and our vertical component, which is the magnitude times sine of the angle. And this gives us the planes vector. So this gives us a horizontal component of 428.3 and our vertical component of 328.9. So there is our plane vector in component form. However, we've been asked to give it in unit vector form, which translates to 428.3i plus 328.9j. I like to put arrows above our i and j. Not all people do that. And there is our plane vector in unit vector component form. I hope you've enjoyed watching the video. Please make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.